Now, your Alaska Link weather for Anchorage and South Central. Well, good evening. As mentioned earlier, we are officially a week now into the month of July, and we've been battling a switch in that pattern from some of those warm summer like conditions in June to July, giving us more of a August to September like feel where we have gray skies and shower chances. Now, hasn't been drenching here in the Anchorage area. We've only actually brought in three hundredths of an inch, giving us a deficit there, but we are noting that we're battling those gray skies and keeping temperatures just slightly cooler than normal. So a little bit of a below average start in both temperatures temperature and precipitation category here for the month, but we'll see where we'll continue to drive those numbers as what we are noting is that the cool and cloudy feel is what's going to last over the next week. We might get some chances here, especially through the middle of the week to maybe break into some little bits of some sunshine. How much of that will be able to warm up that surface? It will be depending because we have a very damp atmosphere as well that is going to continue to allow for some areas of sunshine. Generally here, much of the South Central, we're not dealing with too drenching of conditions. If we will see that it's going to be in some higher elevation points and some of our coastal areas. There will be some potential to talk about some steadier rainfall and that's looking to arrive by the weekend and could even place that more by the late weekend forecast, but still some uncertainties there that we'll continue to monitor here as we roll through this week. So here for our Tuesday underneath some of those gray skies and a few isolated showers that northerly wind is keeping temperatures there just within those lower 60s. Rolling into the forecast, where our biggest zone here for accumulation as we roll from our Tuesday into our Wednesday is going to be some moisture lifting there across portions of our Prince William Sound and our Kenai Peninsula. There's a very strong wave that is occurring across areas of the southwest, but as it approaches the region, there is a wave that pushes that system off and allows for that to round back into a low that will be dropping back into the Aleutian Islands, moving away from our area. And what that allows for is you can see a little break in some of this cloud cover. So the potential of Wednesday even into Thursday to talk about some areas of some sunshine is possible, but we note in these damp environments it is really hard to break some of that stratus layer, especially from some of our lower elevation points closer to sea level. So we'll have to keep an eye on some of that potential here through this week. But again, not drenching. We can only see again a few hundredths of an inch here for our local regions of Anchorage in the portions of the valley. We even see Kenai holding to those few hundredths of an inch. You break into the Prince William Sound and the Kenai, you get anywhere from that quarter of an inch to even Whittier trying to bring in over an inch. So that will be our biggest zone of that cool, damp, damp pattern where others will try to get that potential of trying to break into some of the sunshine. We are down to losing about three and a half minutes per day. 18 hours and 47 minutes, though, is what we still grip on to for daylight. And daylight can still be powerful this time of the year. So if we can break into it, we can bump those temperatures up. But with the expectations of keeping these cool and damp skies, that is going to keep our temperatures mainly settling just around those lower 60s. So we'll keep at least some of those scattered shower chances through the work week and then as mentioned we are going to keep an eye for some potential steadier rainfall into that weekend forecast.